This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. One thing you want to be careful of is that when you send messages out that you have correct spelling. So let's take a look at how you can spell check your messages to ensure your accuracy. Let me go back into a message that's already been created. So here we have the first line, hello with a little spelling error on there. And you'll notice that there's a red wavy line underneath the word. Red wavy lines indicate a potential spelling area, error. Excuse me. The green wavy lines indicate that there is some sort of grammar error, potentially. And you might also see blue wavy lines. Blue wavy lines indicate that there may be a better word choice for you. Well, whenever you see those wavy lines, there's a really fast way to fix those wavy lines. It's a fast spell check feature. All you do is rest your mouse on top of the, the word that has the wavy lines, shift to a right click. And when you do a right click, if indeed it's a spelling error, and Outlook can guess for you some better choices, you will have some examples of what it might be. So I can say, yeah, I really meant hello. I can change this to hello. Now, if it's someone's name, you just click ignore if you'll never type it again. If it's something you'll type a lot, like a person's name, just add it to your dictionary, and they won't spell check it anymore in the future. But for this one, all I did was make a typo. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that by choosing hello. I also have one here. This is is an example. Whoops. So if I right click on the is, it says that it's a repeated word and I can just delete the repeated word. So I'll tell that to delete. And now I don't see any more wavy lines. However, you might want to double check that all is well and wonderful in your, in your spelling. And so what you can do is go to the review tab. And when you click on the review tab, your very first button here is the spelling and grammar check. And when you click that, it'll run through your message and identify any spelling or grammar, or again, those suggested word choices that it might have for you. Mine says it's great, spelling is complete, and so I can say OK. Now, one thing you also might notice, I'm just going to hit Enter here and go to a new line, is that as you're typing, like I'm going to type the word this, and notice a small t, but as soon as I hit my space bar, it automatically corrects it. That's an autocorrect feature that's going to try to help you with your spelling errors. This test, T-E-S-S-T, -S -S -T, watch what happens when I hit my space bar. Again, it fixed it. So one thing you'll also discover is that spelling errors are corrected as you type. That's just an autocorrect feature that's inside of Outlook 2010. There are literally thousands of words that autocorrect for you. So if you see that happening, oh, wonderful, right? Or not, what if it's a name or something that you meant to spell that way? then just do undo. I'm just doing control Z on my keyboard and you'll notice that as soon as you hit undo it'll put the error, it's not really an error, but it'll put the spelling back to the way you intended it. So now you know a few tips and tricks for your spelling errors. You know that you can use the review tab and click on the spelling and grammar or you can let the red, the green, and the blue wavy lines be a help for you and that autocorrect should help you as well. So good luck and good spelling.